A state leader is raising some concerns after he claims he was threatened in downtown Charleston, calling for a ban on assault-style weapons. News 2's Jordan Siopa was at the Joseph Floyd Manor where that news conference was held. Just one day ago, Representative Wendell Gilliard stood right here showing his support for a ban on assault weapons. Now he says he's been receiving threats. We will not be able to eradicate the entire gun problem, but we certainly can put laws in place to slow down the intentions of evil people. That was Representative Wendell Gilliard on Wednesday after announcing he plans to pre-file legislation that would make it illegal to buy or own assault weapons. Afterwards, Representative Gilliard claims he and some other members of the group were threatened because of their stance on assault weapons. He says he received multiple phone calls and social media messages, which prompted him to reach out to the South Carolina State Law Enforcement Division. I'm not intimidated at all. My mission is to make change for the betterment of all, but I have to speak the truth. Because if you can't speak the truth in these elected positions, then you shouldn't be in these positions to represent. Meryl Chapman with Brady United Against Gun Violence was in attendance yesterday. She tells me she received multiple death threats through social media and email following her speech at Gilliard's event. She says she's concerned for her safety but doesn't want to take away from her original message that assault weapons should not be in the hands of civilians. What we want is a ban on military style weapons because they're for the military and that just makes sense but we're not going to take your guns away. According to Gilliard, SLED has advised other group members to contact them if they receive any threats. Reporting in Charleston, Jordan Siopa, Count on Two. News 2 reached out to SLED and, SLED rather, and they say while they are aware of the incident, there is not an open investigation at this time.